We've come here to St. Patrick's Basilica today from dioceses all across Canada. I know there's a group here from London, high school students that I traveled with to get here by bus from London and Woodstock. Uh, we're dispersed somewhere. joining thousands of people from across the country on Parliament Hill, and then walking through the streets of Ottawa to show our opposition to abortion, and to give a public witness of our deeply held convictions of the dignity and the value of every human life. The public nature of our witness today is important. Last year, 25,000 people assembled on Parliament Hill for the March for Life. It was a tremendous manifestation. People, young and old, speaking with one voice, standing up together that abortion is wrong that it violates a fundamental human right, the right to life. It's not easy to stand up for what we believe in. We can count on being ridiculed and being silent. The message that we hear from our secular society is that we should keep our religious convictions private. They say that they don't belong society. Just yesterday, we were reminded of that, that if you're a pro-life candidate, you're not even welcome in some of our political parties. Standing up for what we believe in, a public way, is an important part of our witness. And we gather this Eucharist this morning to listen to God's Word, to open our hearts as believers, to open our hearts to what His Word brings us. <coughs> the scriptures describe in the Acts of the Apostles how the Apostles proclaimed the good news of Jesus. And they were persecuted. They were persecuted for witnessing to Jesus in a public way. The authorities the day tried to silence them, but they believed in the Holy Spirit. They believed the Holy Spirit was with them, and they became bold and courageous in their witness to the Gospel. Our first reading from the Acts of the Apostles tells the story of a eunuch, a court official, who had made a pilgrimage to Jerusalem to worship God. Now he is returning to his home country, to Ethiopia, and he's reading the scriptures. He's reading a passage about the suffering servant from the prophet Isaiah, and he can't understand what he's reading. God sends him Philip, a deacon, to help him. And Philip explains how the passage he's reading about the suffering servant refers, points to Jesus, points to Jesus' death and resurrection, and to the new life, the gift of the Holy Spirit, which he bestows on us in our baptism. So the eunuch asks for baptism, and Philip baptizes him right there on the side of the road. Through baptism, we see that the eunuch is changed. He is filled with the Spirit, and now he is sent up to proclaim the good news of Jesus. And he goes back to his own country, goes back to Ethiopia, and becomes a missionary there. The story of Philip and the eunuch is an encouragement for us today. Through our baptism, we receive the power of God's Spirit. And the Spirit is present with us. And like the unit, the Spirit 
sends us out to proclaim the good news of Jesus, to announce God's kingdom of truth and justice, of love and mercy and forgiveness. And we can be confident that God is with us on our journey of faith. When we're confused or disheartened, God sends us someone like Philip to help us. When we're fearful, the Spirit gently speaks to our hearts. Do not be afraid. God will give us the courage that we need, no matter what the situation. At this Eucharist, we thank God for the signs of the Spirit's presence among us, for the many signs in our pro-life work. And today, I want to recognize the many, many works that you people are doing, the witness that you people are giving to your faith in the pro-life activities you're involved with. The time and the energy that you are giving to pro-life causes, the volunteer hours, the countless sacrifices you are making. I know that often these efforts are not recognized. They're done in a hidden way. You may feel isolated, alone, and so it's important for us to gather, to gather in this church, to see the support that we have and to hear how important it is, how important this pro-life work is, the witness that we give. And so we gather for the Eucharist. This Eucharist encourages us, it encourages us to keep our eyes fixed on Jesus. We can be confident that He is with us. We can be confident that with His help, we will make a difference.